हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट द गूगल ड्राइव फाइल पिकर इनसाइड योर रिएक्ट चेस एप्लीकेशन सो आई विल बी शोइंग यू इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल दैट हाउ टू अपलोड फाइल्स टू योर गूगल ड्राइव हाउ टू सेलेक्ट गूगल ड्राइव फाइल्स इन साइड गूगल फाइल पिकर ए पी आई सो दिस वी विल बी डूइंग इट इन साइड रिएक्ट चेस एंड द एप लाइब्रेरी इज वेरी सिंपल इफ यू गो टू एन पी एफ एन पी एफ जे एस डॉट कॉम यू विल फाइंड दिस लाइब्रेरी विच इज रिएक्ट गूगल ड्राइव डैश पिकर दिस इज अ लाइब्रेरी दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग हेयर इफ यू क्लिक दिस लाइब्रेरी यू विल सी दिस इज अ लाइब्रेरी हेयर इट इज कॉड सिक्स फिफ्टी फाइव वीकली डाउनलोड्स एंड यू विल सी दिस इज अ सिंपल कोड हेयर विच लेट्स यू डू दिस एंड द लिंक विल बी देर इन साइड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड ऑल दो सोर्स कोड दिस इज अ ब्लॉग पोस्ट एट आई रिटर्न स्टेप बाई स्टेप सो जस्ट गो टू द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन लिंक टू डाउनलोड ऑल द सोर्स कोड नाउ लेट स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग द एप्लीकेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज वट यू नीड टू डू इज दैट यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ ब्रांड न्यू रिएक्ट चेज प्रोजेक्ट बाय एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस कमांड एन पी एक्स क्रिएट रिएक्ट एप एंड देन फॉलोड बाई योर एप नेम देन यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल दिस लाइब्रेरी एन पी एम आई एंड देन द लाइब्रेरी नेम इज रिएक्ट गूगल ड्राइव पिकर सो इंस्टॉल दिस लाइब्रेरी आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड इट सो आई विल स्टार्ट द एप्लीकेशन एन पी एम स्टार्ट सो हेयर गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल हैव माई फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट एंड हेयर आई विल जस्ट राइट हेयर हेलो वर्ल्ड सो यू विल सी इट इज करेंटली एम टी आई विल जस्ट राइट हेयर ए डेव हेयर विच विल होल्ड हेलो वर्ल्ड एंड वी विल एक्सपोर्ट दिस कंपोनेंट एक्सपोर्ट डिफॉल्ट एप and at the very top we need to import react here from react and then we also need to just uh, import this library which is simply import use drive picker from and uh, we are importing from react google drive picker so this is a library so after that guys what you need to do is that inside your app component we need to declare a variable hook variable like this so we will declare it const and inside this we will need to have some pickers here open picker comma uh, data comma auth response so these are some of the things that we need to extract here auth response and then we need to have use state Oh, sorry use try picker that we have use try picker this is a method here like this after hand having all these things guys instead of hello world we will have a simple button here inside our markup the label of the method will be simply open picker so when you click this button we need to bind a on click event handler so when we click this button we will have this uh, callback function which will execute automatically and uh, this will call this uh, handle open picker so this is a function guys that we need to create here this is a custom function and uh, we will create this function here which is right here after this which is handle open picker and this will be a arrow function and inside this guys we need to call our open picker method which we have extracted here so inside this open picker we need to provide the client id and then we need to provide the developer key so these are all the things which will be getting from the dashboard inside your google cloud console account i will show you step by step how to do this view id is uh, you can pass anything docs images with images and videos i will pass here docs and then you can also pass here token access token if you want to upload files to google drive but uh, first of all i will just show you how to show that google picker show upload view to true show upload folder to also true support drives to also true and uh, multi select so you can select multiple uh, items so it is also true so you can just play with these options 
and now guys we need to write a hook which is used effect here use effect is a hook it is automatically imported here from react here so this use effect hook will automatically trigger a function whenever data is available to us so inside this we will write here data so whenever data is available inside this hook function we will uh, check for the data here if data is available then we will call this function which is data dot docs dot map and inside this i we will just console log the data or console log i that's it so this will contains all the properties regarding the file of the file which is selected in the picker so now we need to go to our cloud console account here so you should we need to create a google cloud console account just verify your credit card information i have already created one so you will see this is a google cloud console account so simply you need to go to the api section here and you need to enable the google file picker api so just if you go to it you need to click enable api in services and search for this google file picker so enter it and you will find this if i write here file picker so you will see this is google picker api so select this and click on enable i have already enabled this after enabling it it is very simple go to the dashboard and you need to create your own api key here so inside this you will see credentials click on it and here you need to create your oauth client id click it and simply you need to select here web application and inside authorize javascript origins just type here http localhost 3000 because my port number is 3000 you will see this after this simply click create so this will create your client id so this is your client id simply copy this so this client id will be different for your account so don't copy mine simply paste it here and for the developer keys it's just an api key so you will see this is the api key so i can simply copy it you can also create it from here also so this is your brand new api key so i will just copy this so this is again different for your account so don't copy my api key so after copy pasting these through information so now you can we can start having this so we can here open localhost 3000 so you will see this is a button here open picker if i click this you will see if i select my account here it will say google hasn't verified this app but click on advance and click on go to project and now this will ask for the permission simply grant all the permissions click on continue and now basically this will show you this picker here picker box so this will contain all the images all the files that are stored on google drive you can select any file of your choice let me select this file and if you right click inspect element and go to console here you will see a object is received here which has all the properties regarding this image the url you can also display the url photo it also has the size name of the image so in this stuff you can also download this image to your local pc now i will show you how to upload an image this is very simple so there is a token option which is available so you can pass this token option and now to get this access token it is pretty simple you need to 
there is an option inside a tool which is of google which if you go to this tool it is google playground it is called as so here you can access any sort of google api and generate access tokens so i will be accessing the google drive api and selecting all the scope click authorize api and again you need to grant permissions click continue and then you will see exchange the authorization code for access token simply click this option and this is your access token and you will see this is your access token simply copy this access token and simply copy this so this access token is different i have shown you the way just go to google play auth ground and simply repeat this process and simply paste your token access token like this and now it will be allowing you to upload the files as well so if i refresh the application again start it so now in you can also upload files to your google drive as well so now if i click open picker so there is the upload option also here so if i select files from my device so let's suppose i want to select these two images i need to upload and simply select all these images click on upload now you will see it is uploading these two images to my google drive so it is successfully uploaded it i can cross check as well go to drive.google.com so now you will see you uploaded just now so i have uploaded successfully these images to my google drive through the google drive picker so in this way you can select images upload images download images all that stuff using this google drive picker and this is we have done step by step in react js application using google uh, react google drive picker so all the source code of this application guys will be there inside video description so please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video